What is going on guys welcome back and today's video we're going to talk about how to print colored text in python and it's going to end up looking somewhat like that we're going to say python main py and then you're going to see that we can choose the background the foreground we can also make rainbow text as you can see so this is what we're going to learn about in today's video so let us get right into it all right so this video is going to be kind of short and kind of simple because we're not going to build a fancy project we're just going to learn how to print colored text onto the command line and for this, we're going to start by opening up the command line, CMD or the terminal of your choice. And we're going to install a library called Colorama. So pip install Colorama. Um, and this is going to be the library we're going to use in order to be able to print color text. Because as you can see here in the command line on CMD on Windows, you have a default color. In my case, I chose green. You can choose orange. You can choose white. You can choose black, whatever it is but you can only choose one color for everything. You can go to the settings here, to the properties, and you can go to colors and you can say, okay, I wanna have a red background and I wanna have, I don't know, white text and then you can have a terminal next time you open it up. It's going to look uh, like that, which is super ugly if you ask me. Uh, so you can choose one color for everything. Uh, so let me just return this back to, let's pick blue, come on. There you go. So you can choose one color for everything, but you cannot say, okay, I want this text to be in that color and I want this text to be in that color and I want this text to have a different background and so on. Um, at least not, not in the settings. So you can do it for individual programs and individual outputs. And this is what we're going to do in Python. So we install Colorama and then we say import Colorama. By the way, let me just once again check if I am placed in the proper position. Now I am. There you go. Um, so we import Colorama and we also say from Colorama, we're going to import, uh, back for background. We're going to import four for foreground and we're going to import style. This is going to be for, um, for the lightness you could say of the text. So let's start with the very basics. I mean, there's not much more than the basics actually, but what we can do is we can say print hello world. And if we do it like that, we already know how this looks like or what this looks like. It's a very basic hello world. Now what we can do is we can add to that string, uh, the color. So we can say four dot, uh, and then you can choose red, for example, plus hello world. And I think this should also be displayable in PyCharm. As you can see, we get hello world in red color. We can change this to green. By the way, there's, there is no orange. We have a very limited, um, palette of colors here. So we cannot choose orange, which is very, very sad. Um, but this is how you do it. You have this four dot, um, dot color name, which is actually just a constant. And this constant um, chooses the, the color of your text. Now, if you want to do this in the command line, if you want to do this in CMD, I'm not sure if we can do it just like that. Uh, because there is actually an init function that we can use. Okay, now I chose cyan and the color is not that different. So let's choose red. And now we're going to navigate desktop, programming, uh, Python, neural nine, and then we're going to say Python main.py. Okay, now what you can see here is the tag. This is the thing that causes the color. But in this case, we cannot see anything. We cannot see that um, that the color is changing. And this is because we haven't initialized. Um, so what we need to do first is we need to say colorama dot init, and we can set auto reset to true. And we don't have to set auto reset to true, but this is basically uh, resetting the color after everything. So if I now run this here, it should still work. Yes. And if I run this here, it should now also work. As you can see, we get hello world. So we can now go ahead and just open a new line. And here we can change the background to, uh, let's say green, like that. And if we print this, you can see that we have uh, red, or I think this is red, is this red? I don't know. Uh, but I think it's the same color that we had before. No, it's not the same color. It's the base color that we have because we're auto resetting. So I think if we turn off auto reset, this should be actually red because the color is still red, as you can see. Yes. Um, and this is this is the reason we choose auto reset because whenever we style something, for example, here, we choose the foreground color red 
for Hello World and then we choose the background color green. If we don't reset this, this is still going to have the foreground color red. Unless, of course, we do something like print and then uh, what was it? Was it four dot reset? So then we don't need auto reset uh, because then it's going to do it manually. But if you do auto reset, it's going to do it automatically. So you don't need to do it yourself. Uh, and also you're going to to stop with the uh, with the style after the line is done. So you're not going to color the whole line unnecessarily. As you can see, when we run this, there you go. So how do you do rainbow text? I mean, it's actually just the same thing. It's just applying this to every uh, to every single letter. So we're saying something like print, and then we can use an F string here, we can say uh, four dot ret. And then we choose H and then we say four dot yellow, and then we choose E, and then we say four dot green. And we get an L and we say four dot uh, blue, not black blue. And we get another L and then last but not least four dot magenta. And we get an O like that. So if we do it like that, we should get a rainbow text as you can see. Uh, we can now copy that line. And we can actually substitute or actually let's do a world. So we're going to say, W, we're going to say, O, we're going to say R, we're going to leave the L and then we're going to say D. So we're going to have a hello world message in rainbow colors. Uh, no, we're not because I deleted the quotation mark. There you go. And now we can also copy that down here. And we can say, mark those two lines and substitute uh, for for back. And then we have the same thing with the background. And we can of course choose in the beginning, the foreground color to be black. Like that. There you go. So this should also work in the CMD command line. And it also works in the Linux terminal. So if you have uh, this Linux subsystem here, or if you have an actual Linux system, this also works. So you just have to navigate to, um, to your directory. And then we should be able to say Python three main.py. And there you go, you can see hello world. Um, hello world, hello, and so on in rainbow colors. One more thing that we can do is we can go down here and we can say uh, F string again, and we can choose a foreground color, for example, for dot red, and we can choose a background, for example, for uh, not for back dot uh, black, which is the default, I think. And if we have that, we can then go ahead and say style, which we haven't used yet. And we can say bright dim normal. So if we go for bright, I'm not sure what the default is, I think normal is the default. But if I say hello world here, and I run this, um, we can see that the text looks different, a little bit bold. If I go ahead and say normal, I think we're going to see the normal uh, text. There you go. And if we choose dim, it's going to be dimmed, obviously. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really show that. So let's see if we can open up the command line. Uh, come on, desktop, programming, Python, neural nine, and then Python three, no, not Python three, Python main py. So we have this and now let's change this to normal to see the difference if there is any difference. Uh, slightly, I'm not sure even, but there's definitely a difference if we choose bright. So if I say style bright, then we definitely see a difference. So in this case here, if we do this, uh, if you, do, if we do this in PyCharm, you can see that it's bold. If we do this in the command line, you can only see that it's brighter. I'm not sure if it's, uh, if you can see that in the video properly, but this red is darker than this red but it's not bold in the terminal here. Uh, maybe in the Linux terminal, we can see some differences. No, it's also just brighter. So it depends also on the terminal. Um, 
but that is how you print color text in Python. You can choose foreground, background, and also the style of the text. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.